What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the app to USB payload. So this payload basically allows you to take any app that you have installed on your internal hard drive on your PS4 and basically have it stored on a USB device of some kind. So an external hard drive or a large USB stick, you can have a lot of your games and apps on an external device and that gives you more space on your hard drive so you can have more games installed overall. So that's basically what we're going to be covering. So one valid point that people bring up a lot about this is, you know, why, why do you even need this payload? Because the PS4 has the ability built in if you go to, dev to devices and then you go down to USB storage devices, you can format a external hard drive or a USB stick and have it as an external storage device. That's built into the PS4, you can do that, so why is this payload even necessary? So the reason that this method isn't great is because one, it doesn't work with fake package files, so the homebrew enabler won't allow you to run your fake package files if they're stored on an external device using this method. Um, so that's a pretty big problem. And then also the other problem is, um, as you can see, there's a few requirements. You have to have a USB 3 USB stick and you have to have a minimum of 250 gigabytes of storage. Um, and that's, well, my USB stick doesn't have that. My USB, I think, is just a USB 2 and it's only a 64 gig USB stick, so it won't allow me to do this. Whereas the app to USB payload will allow me to store my games on my USB stick. So that's why um, this method exists and why we need to use this payload. So let's get started. So first things first, if you want to just copy all of your games, say you have a huge external device, uh, like a big external hard drive, like a terabyte or something, and you just want to copy all of your games, every single one, to the external device, then all you have to do is run the app to USB payload. And that will just go ahead and go through every single one and it will copy all of them to your external device. But it's going to take a very long time, especially if you have a lot of games. So, you know, you're not going to be able to use your PS4 for probably 24 hours or something like that. It's going to take a long time to copy all of those games. Now, there is a way and I'm going to be showing you how to customize it so that it will only copy certain games, uh, just the ones that you want. Um, I'll also show you how to configure it so that if you already have the game package file on your PC, you can have that put that on the USB stick and it, it will use the one on the USB instead of having to copy it from the hard drive to the USB on the PS4, which takes a lot of time. So, okay, so first things first, if we go to the PC here, you need to download this INI file. This is the configuration file for app to USB and it's just called app to USB.ini. So if you go ahead and open this, I'll link it in the description. So it's just a configuration file for the application. So there's a few things that you need to check in here. So first things first, we've got, so this first option here, check USB is commented out, which means it will not check the USB stick for any games that you already have on there. Um, if you uncomment that out, it will check the USB stick looking for any games that you have on the USB so that it doesn't have to copy them from the internal hard drive to the USB because it's already on the USB stick. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, we can leave rename app, uh, disable meta, I've, I will just leave that. Um, and then to leave game updates on internal drive, uncomment the line below. So, so with this uncommented, it's going to ignore the, the game updates um, and just do the actual game files itself. So if you want to do the updates, you can go ahead and uh, comment that out so that it will uh, do the updates as well. Personally, I'm not, the games I'm copying don't have any updates installed for them right now, so I'm not gonna bother with that. And then also you can do the same with DLC. So to move DLC to the USB, uh, uncomment the line below. So if you want to move your DLC for your games, then you would uncomment it. But again, I'm just doing straight up games that don't have any updates or DLC, so I don't have to do that. And finally, to use this list as a list of games you want to move, not ignore, and comment out the line below. So, so basically, with this commented as it is now, any title IDs of games that you put in this list, it will, it will ignore them. So if you have, let's say you have two games that you want to keep on the hard drive, but 
all your other games you want to copy to um, to the USB. Then you would put in the title IDs of the two games that you want to keep on the on the internal hard drive. And then when you run app to USB, it will ignore those two that you put in here, and it will just copy the the other games that you have. Um, if you uncomment this then it will use this list as games that you want to copy and ignore the rest, so it'll do the opposite. So any game title IDs that you put in here in this list, it will copy to the USB and it will ignore all the rest. That's the way I want it to do because all I'm doing is copying two games um, and all the rest I want to keep on my internal hard drive, so I'm going to uncomment out that line. Okay, so that's basically how the configuration file works. So, so for this example, I'm going to do Horizon Zero Dawn which is a game I already have as a package file and it's already copied on my USB because uh, I obviously had to do that to install it initially to the hard drive. Um, so I'm going to do one game like that which I already have the package file for and then the other game I'm going to do is Call of Duty Ghosts which I don't have a package file for. Um, so I'm going to have to let app to USB copy Ghosts for me from the hard drive to the USB but for Horizon Zero Dawn because I already have the package file I can get it to ignore Horizon Zero Dawn so it won't copy it from the hard drive to the USB and it will just use the one that's already on the USB stick uh, which will save a lot of time because copying from hard drive to USB using app to USB Jesus that's a lot of USBs but it takes a hell of a long time so uh, you got to watch out for that uh, so you got to be prepared for the amount of time it takes to copy so if you do have the games already as package files uh, that you can copy onto your USB stick um, on the PC, it's going to be a lot faster than copying it on the PS4. So, so if you do have a package file like this that you you want it to use instead of the one on the hard drive, then all you have to do is create a folder called PS4 in uppercase, and then you want to copy the title ID of the package file, which is the part that starts with CUSA and then a four-digit number or five-digit number rather. You want to copy that name, go into the PS4 folder, create a folder with that same name, and then you want to basically just copy your package file into that folder, just like that, and that's all you have to do. You used to have to rename it to app, so it's just called app.package. You can do that if you want, it'll still work, but it's not necessary anymore with the newer version. Um, it will just work with the normal package file name. Now for Call of Duty Ghosts, I don't even have to create a folder with the, the application in here because um, all we have to do is put it in the app to USB. So I, can do, I need to do this with both. So Horizon Zero Dawn, I'll copy the title ID, put it in here, and I'll put the title ID again of Ghosts in here as well. Now if you don't know what the title ID is for your game, you can go to this website right here, I'll link it in the description, ps4database.io forward slash search, and then you just type in, you know, the title of your game, you click search, and it gives you all of the, you know, game's information, including the title ID. So here's Call of Duty Ghost European version, which is the one I have, and this is the title ID for the European version of Call of Duty Ghosts. So that is the one I am looking for, so I can go ahead and put that title ID in there, and remove the third one from the list and save. So now it will only do these two games and it will detect that Horizon Zero Dawn's already in here so it will not bother copying that one and it will detect that I want to do ghosts, it will detect that I don't have ghosts already on the USB so it will copy it from the hard drive to the USB. So now that I've done that let's go ahead and copy the INI file over as well this, this just goes in the root of the USB, not in any folders. So this should be the way you have it structured. You've got your INI file, you've got your PS4 folder, and then in PS4 you'll have the title IDs of any games that you want to either copy or ignore, depending on how you configured the INI file. Okay, so now we've done that, we can just go ahead and unplug the USB and plug it into the PS4 and run the app to USB payload. So from here I'm just going to load up the internet browser 5.05 and I'm going to run the app to USB payload and when I do this we'll get some messages, some warning messages pop up initially. So warning this payload will modify the file system on your PS4, unplug your USB drive to cancel. 
Now it's saying last warning, unplug your USB drive to cancel. Copying apps to USB, this may take a while if you have a lot of games installed. And there you go, you can see it's starting to do Call of Duty Ghosts. And the reason it started with Call of Duty Ghosts is because that is the, the game I have on the USB. So it's using that configuration file and it's going to ignore all the other ones and it's just going to do Ghosts and Horizon Zero Dawn. So there we go, as you can see it has found Horizon Zero Dawn and it's skipping. Pretty awesome right there. So complete, that's it. So it took forever to do Ghosts because it, because Ghosts was on the internal hard drive and it had to manually copy it uh, to the USB on the PS4, which is painfully slow. But if you already have the game, this is why it's so important. If you already have the game as a package file on your PC and you haven't deleted it after installing it to the hard drive, then you can just copy that package file to the USB stick you're on your on the computer, which will be much, much, much faster than letting app to USB copy it from the hard drive to the USB. Um, and once you've done that, as you could see there, it just skipped it. It was like, oh, Horizon Zero Dawn's already on the USB. Don't need to copy it. Done. And that's it. So Horizon Zero Dawn's now on the USB. So now that that's done, I can't run it because it's a fake package file, so I'm going to have to um, try and run the homebrew enabler, which is not a good idea, obviously running two payloads back to back without a restart, but let's just see if it works anyway. Go ahead and run homebrew enabler. Oh, it worked. Okay, perfect. So let's see. So let's unplug the USB stick. This is the simple way to test to see if it worked. So I've unplugged my USB. So Horizon Zero Dawn should not be able to run. Yep, there you go. Cannot start application. Uh, delete the application, download it again from library. The data is corrupted because it cannot find the game on the hard drive because it's not on the hard drive anymore. It's on the USB. So now if I plug the USB stick back in and then give it a few seconds, maybe five or six seconds, you know, it takes a little while for the device to be detected. And now I'll press X and run the game again, and it runs because it's running off the USB as it's found the USB stick. So yeah, that's basically it guys, that's how you copy games to the USB and run them from the USB drive. There's a lot of configuration settings so you can do it either way. Obviously, you know, if your situation is different and you're wanting to copy all of your games to the USB stick, then you can just go ahead and run, pause this, oh I can't pause this, great. I don't want to see this yet, I haven't even started this game yet. Okay, let's close it. So, anyway, where was I? Uh, yeah, so obviously in your situation you might not want to do this. You might want to, you know, configure it so that it copies uh, most of your games but ignores a certain few, in which case you just, you know, change the, the way the, the list works with the mode move uh, option. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.